you guys remember Bose, right? Bose, the, the speaker system place where they put headphones on your head. <laughs> you know, they've got really cool sounding speakers for your home theater system and stuff like that. Bose are world renowned for great sounding speakers, right? Well, not just that. About 30 years ago, they ended up building a car suspension system. I know, right? Very, very interesting. Now, some of you may have heard about this, some of you may not have heard about this, but when it was invented roughly 2004-ish, it was revolutionary and it still kind of is. It worked perfectly. It stopped, as you guys can see the picture, it stopped cars from bending too much as it went around corners and it counteracted speed humps. So the car on the right is the bow suspension and the car on the left is the stock suspension. Both cars are the same except for the for the Bose that's been installed on the right, okay? And, and but they're both turning around this corner really fast, but the car on the right, the Bose suspension car, is able to counteract the forces, of the, the G-forces of the car turning. Uh, this was incredible technology for the day, and, and as I said, it still is, but it wasn't brought to market, and today we're going to talk about why that is, and the future of this technology, because it will be likely coming to cars very, very soon. If you guys think this is an interesting topic, I do as well. And we do daily videos on this channel, in the studio. Of course, it's channel two, is where it's at right now. But of course, we do make fortnightly videos on channel one. One is the one and two is the two, it's that simple. Now, now that we've got that over and done with, I wanna show you a video of this thing actually working. So we're gonna talk about this together as we see it. What do you reckon? So we're just gonna show you some images. Now this is the Bose car doing some, some turning, you know, left and right type thing. Very, very cool. Uh, we're going to skip ahead and find some more things. This is what the actual suspension unit looks like. We're going to show that again. Uh, don't worry about that. We're going to show you a little bit more about that in a second. Now this is conventional suspension going up and down, bouncy, bouncy. This is the Bose suspension system. Look how, look how clear it is. It's clear motion. <laughs> you guys you guys may have found that reference and maybe not i'll show you later uh bow suspension system is on the top conventional is on the bottom it's night and day really isn't it you know check out this one let's just rewind a bit more look at that bam 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 backwards and forwards shaky shaky and the bow suspension system is just remarkable right absolutely incredible why on earth was this not brought to market See, unbelievable. So we're gonna do some reading in a second and we're gonna show you the actual outcome to where this technology is actually going. This is from an article from X called uh, Extreme Tech. Uh, Bose sells off its revolutionary electromagnetic uh, suspension. Uh, very cool, very cool. Let's read on this right now, what do you reckon? Uh, 37 years after Dr. Amar Bose hit on the idea of beefing up a loudspeaker's electromagnetic driver to be an, an adaptive car suspension. Bose is selling off the technology to clear motion. There's the reference, everybody. Uh, another Boston area uh, tech company founded by MIT graduates. Now, Bose got as far as developing prototype cars that were exhibited in 2004, though it did uh, bring to market an offshoot and electromagnetically suspended seats for long haul truck drivers. Now we're gonna talk about that in a second. But as you guys can see, the car, both cars have been photographed using long exposure photo. Do you understand what I'm saying? The car on the top clearly has uh, way more uh, shake than the car on the bottom. The car on the bottom has the, has the, has the bow suspension. So that's really, really clever way of showing off what's actually working with this thing now. Now, uh, the genius of the electromagnetic suspension. At a 2004 technology rollout at Bose headquarters in Framingham, Massachusetts. Am I saying that right? Framingham. Framingham. People in Framingham are shouting at me right now. How dare you pronounce our name wrong? Hey, I just pronounced it right, so get over yourselves. <laughs> anyway, uh, Massachusetts, uh, Boston, I'm guessing. Amar Bose said... This is the first time a suspension system is the same for, for a sports car and a luxury car. Very interesting. 
He was drawn to develop alternatives to the traditional springs and shocks suspension, uh, uh, stock suspension after experiencing, after experiences uh, owning a 1957 Pontiac with a fledging air suspension and a 1967 Citron with an always leaking hydraulic uh, suspension. Ouch, right? Not good at all. Bose believed a loudspeaker driver comprising a magnet and electromagnetic coil which pushed the speaker cone in and out could be uh, seriously scaled up to move not just a paper cone but 1,000 pounds of automobile at each corner. Unbelievable, right? Bose created a mathematical model of the suspension. It called for a better uh, and beefier Electromagnetic motors, electromagnet motors, uh, power, power amplifiers, control al algorithms, and microprocessing power, all of which he believed would come available over time. So when the Bose company and Mr. Bose, Amar Bose, was it? When they were building this, it seems like a lot of the technology they needed to, to build this thing didn't exist at the time. So they had to, you know, not only not only invent this system, but invent other things to go into the system. Very, very clever, right? Absolutely amazingly clever. Now, Bose set up a skunk works project in the 19, uh, in 1980 and codenamed it Project Sound to hide the, the true nature from the Bose accounting department. Very, very, very clever. Uh, 24 years later, the company felt comfortable enough with Project Sound to showcase it for the media and analysts. So this this project took about 24 years to build. That's that's a long ass R and D period of time, research and development. Wow, that's a long, long period of time, and and to only and to not really have it come to anything until now, kind of. It's sad, but it is what it is. So that once again, that's what the suspension looks like. Uh, day and night difference in ride quality. Uh, at the summer of 2004, unveiling Bose, unveiling, uh, Bose showed off a modified and unmodified 1994 uh, Lexus uh, LS400 and a Porsche 911. <laughs> I don't know if that car actually makes that sound, but I just wanted to make that sound anyway, because why not? They were driven hard around corners and over bumps that hit the front and then the rear axles and another set of bumps that raised the left tire but not the right front, then the rear. Jeez, that's confusing, isn't it? Uh, the front, then the rear bumps were uncomfortable on the short road course in the stock Lexus and amazingly almost unnoticeable with the bow suspension. Project Sound was not just dampening the roadway bumps, but actively counteracting them. Wow. The, alter, al, 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 the alternate, uh, what's this one? Oh, geez, I can't read for some reason today. Alternating. The alternating left right bumps with the stock suspension were so vicious in the Porsche that the test driver had to wear a helmet to avoid concussioning his head when it repeatedly struck the slide of the window. Uh, wow, you just go to show how crappy stock suspension kind of is and how amazing this suspension obviously is. Why wasn't it brought to market? Well, let's get into that in a second. A repeat visitor to Bose knows the company always has a can you top this moment for visitors. In this case, it was said to be a test of the Lexus driving at speed over a railroad uh, tie. Now the driver approached the railroad tie at speed. Uh, the car hunkered down. The suspension had eight inches of travel. Uh, then the linear motors went to full expansion mode. I'm going up and down for you guys who can't see. Uh, and then the car lifted off the ground and sailed over the railroad tie with inches to spare. Now after that, the driver got out, bowed to the crowd, I'm bowing everybody who, who's not watching, uh, pointed to the car, clicked a button and the front suspension dipped down too and bowed as the headlamps winked. <laughs> At the end of the demo, Bose representatives explained what was needed to bring the suspension to market in a production car by the end of the decade. 
Now the cost would have to come down to a reasonable level for a high-end car. And this is the big one, and the weight would have to come down to no more than 50 pounds per corner. Uh, 50 pounds per corner more than the existing suspension, meaning a production car would weigh an extra 200 pounds. Not good, right? Not good. Many of the world's premier automakers met with Bose, but no Bose suspension cars ever came to market. Now, there was also talk of adapting the suspension for ambulances or even luxury tour buses. That would have been cool. Ambulance, having, having, a, uh, having a ride in an ambulance, which you, you know, it's, it's, it's not something you want to do, but if you ever do get the chance, the unlucky chance to do that, uh, you'd want a, a smooth ride, right? <laughs> you're speeding back to the hospital. Um, anyway, this is the new seat. Not new anymore, but this is a seat that Bose ended up building for truckies. A very cool seat uh, to help truckies with back pain. So let's read that right now. Uh, Bose suspension trucker seats. As it tried to, to bring the air suspension to market, Bose hit on the idea of installing the electronics and mechanics, mechanics uh, inside the seat used by long haul truck drivers. Uh, the previous state of the art was air suspension seats that softened the ride, but not enough for many truckers with back problems. So they had a good idea. Let's, let's incorporate this technology with, with, with the seats, right? And it, when it worked, people, people actually buy this thing. Uh, in the Bose ride seat, precision sensors detect up and down motion. Bose proprietary algorithms calculate how to adjust the seat and the electromagnetic motor in the base, in, in the, in the, in the base uh, counteracts the bumps, right? Now the seat is $3,700, less in quantity. What does that mean? I'm not too sure. Uh, in a survey of truckers who reported back problems, that affected their ability to drive the stiffly sprung tractor units. 97% uh, said that the Bose seat significantly reduced discomfort. All right, we're almost finished. Now we're getting to the actual area of what actually happened to this technology. It was sold. Who to and what are they going to do with it? Well, here we go. Clearmotion takes over the Bose project, a company called Clearmotion. Clearmotion's acquisition of the Bose suspension and Bose ride seat technology may help Clearmotion uh, develop what it calls a digital chassis. Without going into detail, Clearmotion says it will go beyond the current adaptive suspension suspensions using air dampening or... Jeez, that's a big word, isn't it? Let's read this one, guys. Magneto rheological Magneto adaptive dampers. Wow, what a what's a big one that one. Uh, using magnetic particles in shock absorber fluid, typically called uh, magneride technology. Well, with the addition of the Bose portfolio, Clear Motion says it is a step closer to achieving its mission to be the leading motion control company in mobility. Uh, Clear Motion C the Clear Motion CEO uh, and, and co-founder said it will scale its own and the Bose technologies across self-driving platforms, consumer SUVs and pickups, commercial truck, bus and agriculture and off-highway vehicles. He says passengers in self-driving cars will be looking for a smooth ride so they can work on a laptop, tablet, or a traditional paper notebook while, you know, no errors type thing. So, you know, future cars will be driverless, but the cars that we have today aren't, most of them aren't driverless, unless, unless of course you're driving a Tesla. Uh, your kids in the back, or your, your, your wife in the back or on the front seat wants to write something down, read something. She doesn't want to be doing this, you know. <laughs> She doesn't want to be Michael J. Fox writing something down, okay? This is how Michael J. Fox writes an autograph. Uh, bad joke. Anyway, forget about that. Let's show you the actual new company uh, and show you their video. This is, this is the, the, the company called Clearmotion. And this is what their new tech looks like. Now, it's a lot smaller, as you can see. Very interesting, right? Very, it looks like a freaking vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Uh, this is the video for clear motion. Let's quickly have a look. What do you reckon? Now, it's got no sound to this, which is probably a good thing. 
Look at that stock footage on the left, stock uh, car on the left, and clear motion on the right. Look at the wheel, how it does that. It looks unnatural. Normal car going backwards and forwards, doing its thing, and clear motion, which has bought its tech from Bose, as doing that. And my goodness, what a freaking show off. He's, he's driving a car with wine glasses on the front. In my opinion, this new tech seem, in, in my own opinion, this new tech seems to be great, but is potentially n not as good as the Bose system. I, from the footage I've seen, uh, the Bose system seems, seemed to be a little more stable. Not that this isn't stable, this seems very stable and there's, there's obviously nothing wrong with it, but yeah, it just seems a little bit more stable on the Bose system. But if, it, if, if this new system allows you to have a car with, with com, com, clear motion, there we go, <laughs> then why not? Put it in and it's, it's absolutely great for what it is. Uh, if you guys like this video, we do have two different YouTube channels and I want you to go check them out. Channel two is where we do daily videos and channel one is where we do fortnightly-ish travel films. Uh, I've been tall. My name indeed is Gareth. I will see you for tomorrow's video. Peace out.